One of the things Steve Kerr learned before he became coach of the Warriors is he went up and saw Pete Carroll, the Seahawks coach, who's a very positive guy, he's very, very much an optimistic mindset. And Pete Carroll said, Steve, this took me 15 years to learn this, and I failed twice as a head coach, and I coached under Bill Walsh, and I finally realized I was about to take a new head coaching job. I didn't have a philosophy. I didn't have some underlying coaching um, just sort of approach to this. I didn't have values that, that were the, the foundation of everything. And like, you need to figure those out before you coach and then reflect them in everything you do. So he said, Steve, you know, give me one of your values. They have to reflect you. What's one of your values? And Steve thought, and he's like, well, joy. And then Pete Carroll said, well, that needs to be reflected in everything you do in practice every day. And so Steve thought about it and he came up with four. And for him, it was joy. And you see that the way Steph Curry plays. You see it the way that, that Curry introduces music and funny clips in their practices. You can see it in, in that team. It's never seen a team as joyful as that, right? Uh, compassion. And if you watch Steve and his interactions with players, you'll see that his emotional intelligence is extremely high. He's putting an arm around them. He's, he's their friend, right? He cares about them. Um, competition. Obviously, you know, all this is, is the joy of competition, that we are doing this to compete, but let's love competing. Uh, and then mindfulness. And for him, I think one of the ways that Steve has really done that is to say, guys, the world is bigger than basketball, you know? Um, and let's open up here. You know, this is, we can be, get too myopic, get too tunnel focused on all this. Remember, this is supposed to be fun. This is part of life, but there's a lot of life that matters. And let's take a moment here. Let's take a day off. Go be with your family, right? I don't want you in the gym tonight. Go be with your family. Go do something that fills you up inside. Uh, and so it'd be easy for someone to lay out these lay out these four values and then not follow up on them. It'd be easy for them to say, here it is, and then yell at their players in practice and, you know, et cetera. But Steve has, from what I can tell, really followed up on this. And that's what you see with that team is you talk to the 10th man and they will tell you how, this is Ian Clark, he will tell you how Steve Kerr uh, will pull him aside and say, hey, you know, we're not going to play you tonight because of matchups, but stay ready because your time will come. And Ian Clark will tell you that means a lot because not knowing is the hardest part if you're that 10th man. But Steve Kerr was a player and he was a reserve. He knows what it's like to not know. So he comes over. He, he didn't have to have that conversation, but he has that little human moment where he says, hey man, I get it. You're on a one-year contract. You want to do well and don't worry. Stay ready. This isn't a forever thing. I'll get you back in there. That has a lot of value because now your coach isn't just looking out for himself or the star players. Oftentimes coaches will be like, oh, you know, Durant and Curry, you know, we'll cater to them. Here, Ian Clark, I care about you too. Uh, so it's been reflected day to day. You can see it in almost everything he does.